we're Maggie and Brad, and we've been full-time RVing since 2016. Join us and our sidekick Paco as we explore incredible places in the U.S. and beyond. Hey guys. Hey! We are here in Fort Bragg, California, and we snagged a spot at McCarriture State Park. Yeah, this is another one of the state parks that we're finding in the northern California coast that are a little bit shady. That's right. Uh, so it's a little bit of a, a power struggle for us while we're here. If you have a generator, you really don't have anything to worry about. But we do not, so yeah. we, we really rely on those solar panels. There is sun, like, right across the street from us, and while that's not good to just plug in directly to our ground deploy, it is nice um, to, to set our ground deploy over there with our portable battery pack and get that charged up during the day. There's a good two or three hours of sun on that. We are staying here in the state park for three days, and then we're actually moving over to, uh, what was it just called, Harbor RV Park? I think it is, yeah. Yeah, we're going to stay there for two nights because we have a friend in town who's staying there as well. That's just right in town in Fort Bragg, and that'll be a nice walk to some seafood places. Oh, yeah. That'll be nice. That'll be great. Last night we went to check out some tide pools here within the state park. Down at Laguna Point. So, yeah, so check it out. Starfish right off the bat. Like, we're steps from the beach. Very nice. It was really fun. We saw so much. Like at first, it seemed like it was going to be a bit of a letdown, but when we got further out into the deeper stuff, there were a ton of starfish and anemones all over the place. Yeah, a little slippery. Yeah, yeah, it got a little slick. But it was cool. It was really fun. It was worth it. Yeah. I just love finding these banana slugs. Brad is not the biggest fan, but for me, they're just so unique and such a sign that you're on the West Coast. Okay, so when we were down at the tide pools the other day, we saw a sign about some seals. Um, so we're gonna go check those out. And then we're gonna bike north along the path. Should be fun. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, not a ton, but they're out there. about a mile north from the campground and we thought we could maybe ride the bikes on the beach but among the many list of no's <laughs> is no bike stand. A lot of things not allowed here. We're gonna turn around and check out the, uh, the path south. Okay well, we made it as far south as Pudding Creek Trestle. Um, that's the name for this pedestrian bridge. It's just north of Fort Bragg. If we were to go over the bridge, we'd be basically there in Fort Bragg, in the city. But we're gonna head back to the campground now. 
Today I have come to check out the Mendocino Coast Botanical Gardens. It's like over 40 acres. There's a ton of things in bloom, so it should be quite lovely. So we've moved over to the Harbor RV Park and it's pretty great. They've got a walking trail that runs right along the top of the bluff. got a salmon fish taco and a rockfish taco. Which one's this? Uh, I can't quite tell. I think this is the salmon. It looks a little more pink there. Yeah. What did, what'd you get? Oh, that's right. I got the ahi bowl. So all the fish here is sashimi grade. Yeah. Wow. This is Sadly, this is not a pedestrian friendly area. There's no sidewalk, the road's really narrow. But it's also not car friendly with the parking <laughs> yeah. filling up the road. It's just it's just unfriendly all around. That was good food there though. It's gastronomically friendly. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, we I think we chose the one place that didn't have a view of the water though. The one place that didn't have a patio right on the water. Yeah, it's too bad. It's still good. Today I am heading out to go see Glass Beach. It's actually a big reason for why I wanted to visit Fort Bragg. The history is not so glamorous. From 1906 until the mid 1960s, the residents of Fort Bragg would dump their trash at three different sites around town, Glass Beach being one of them. So over time, the crashing waves broke down the glass into what it is today. It is illegal to remove sea glass from Glass Beach. That hasn't stopped people, unfortunately. So apparently it's nothing like what it used to be, but I am still excited to check it out. We missed out on this, but definitely put it on your list to check out the Skunk Train Rail Bikes. You'll have a guide with you and you have a hands-free experience of riding on the old train tracks into the heart of the Redwoods. It sounds pretty magical. 